Good evening and welcome to our evening prayer. I apologize again about the sound. I say again, I was apologizing at the beginning of Mass this morning and it turns out the batteries ran out on the link microphone so I'm not sure everyone heard the apology. It was my fault that there was no sound last night at evening prayer. Um, in fact, I began evening prayer very smugly, pointing out that I've managed to, to be in the supermarket late enough to get discounted lunch, um, and that I'd still managed to get back here. Uh, they say pride comes before a fall. Uh, in my rush back, I'd forgotten to switch on the link microphone, so <coughs> uh, apologies twice over. Sorry, too, that um, my reflection yesterday at the beginning um, uh, went, uh, went silent, not because it was particularly brilliant, but it seemed to me quite an important thing that um, Pope Pius XII, in bringing about the feast of the Queenship of, the, of Mary yesterday, had invited us um, to, to take up the rosary and to pray uh, Marian uh, prayers and to intercede to Mary for the, the worn, torn parts of the world and that that seemed particularly appropriate at this time as we pray, continue to pray uh, for the Ukraine and for Gaza and for the other places around the world much less reported. I reflected particularly last night about the Angelus. It's a wonderful picture in Paris which shows uh, the two peasant workers stood in the field with the church in the background. Uh, it is called, I think, the Angelus Call or Angelus Bell, whatever. Um, and it re uh, reminds that wonderful time where much of the world did stand still to pray the Angelus. Good tradition to return to, at least in our own lives. We have the Angelus at the beginning of evening prayer. Wonderful to make it that regular uh, slot during our day and to pray particularly that there may be that peace and justice in our world. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, thy Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. Day is done, but love unfailing dwells ever here. Shadows fall, but hope prevailing calms every fear. Loving Father, none forsaking, 
Take our hearts of love's own making. Watch our sleeping, guard our waking. Be always near. Dark descends, but love, light unending, shines through our night. You are with us, ever lending new strength to sight. One in love, your truth confessing, one in hope of heaven's blessing. May we see in love's possessing, love's endless light. I will bless you day after day and tell of your wonderful deeds, O Lord. I will give you glory, O God, my King. I bless your name forever. I bless you day after day and praise your name forever. The Lord is great, highly to be praised. His greatness cannot be measured. Age to age shall proclaim your works, shall declare your mighty deeds, shall speak of your splendor and glory, tell the tale of your wonderful works. They will speak of your terrible deeds, recount your greatness and might. They will recall your abundant goodness. Age to age shall ring out your justice. The Lord is kind and full of compassion, slow to anger, abounding in love. How good is the Lord to all, compassionate to all his creatures. All your creatures shall thank you, O Lord, and your friends shall repeat their blessings. They shall speak of the glory of your reign and declare your might, O God. To make known to men your mighty deeds and the glorious splendor of your reign. Yours is an everlasting kingdom. Your rule lasts from age to age. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be. World without end. Amen. I will bless you day after day and tell of your wonderful deeds, O Lord. The eyes of all creatures look to you, Lord. You are close to all who call upon you. The Lord is faithful in all his words and loving in all his deeds. The Lord supports all who fall and raises all who are bowed down. The eyes of all creatures look to you and you give them their food in due time. You open wide your hand, grant the desires of all who live. The Lord is just in all his ways and loving in all his deeds. He is close to all who call him, who call on him from their hearts. He grants the desires of those who fear him. He hears their cry and he saves them. The Lord protects all who love him, but the wicked he will utterly destroy. Let me speak the praise of the Lord. Let all mankind bless his holy name forever and for ages unending. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The eyes of all creatures look to you, Lord, you are close to all who call upon you. You are just and true, King of all the ages. Great and wonderful are your deeds, O Lord God, the Almighty. Just and true are your ways, O King of all the ages. Who shall not fear and glorify your name, O Lord? For you alone are holy. All nations shall come and worship you for your judgments have been revealed. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Your ways are just and true, King of all the ages. In the letter to the Romans. The reason why those who are in Christ Jesus are not condemned is that the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set you free 
from the law of sin and death. Christ died for our sins that he might offer us to God. In the body he was put to death, in the spirit he was raised to life. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Remember your mercy, Lord, according to the promise you made to our fathers. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. He looks on his servant in her lowliness. Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts forth his arm in strength and scatters the proud hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. He protects Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy, the mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Remember your mercy, O Lord, according to the promise you made to our fathers. God's love for us was revealed when God sent into the world his only Son, so that we might have life through him. We are able to love God because he loved us first. And so we pray, Lord, help us to love you and to love one another. Jesus forgave the penitent woman her sins because she had loved much. May we too know his healing touch and love you with all our hearts. You look with compassion on the humble and contrite of heart. In your goodness, turn our hearts to you and help us to do what we know to be right. We acknowledge the suffering we have caused to others. We ask forgiveness for our neglect and indifference. We ask you to remember tonight those who are in great difficulty. Give new heart to those who have lost their faith and to those who seek the truth but cannot find it. Remember all those who put their hope in you while they lived. Through the passion and death of your Son, grant them the remission of all their sins. pray this evening in thanksgiving the generosity of people uh, with their time with their treasure the donations they've made is truly enhancing the church upstairs no prayers were answered today when it became clear that the stained glass will arrive in time so we give thanks to God for all the blessings that we receive A couple of the intentions that we should have had last night. At least I did pray them, but not uh, well, wasn't able to share them. We pray uh, with Kathy. She asked prayers for her brother Patrick that he may come to terms with his illness. Prayers too for Lloyd, whose funeral was yesterday, for his wife and young children, and for the family struggling with his sudden death. Apologies to Father David Weston. He'd asked that we might pray yesterday for his brother-in-law Robert on his 60th birthday and to pray too for his ministry 
in Sofia, Bulgaria. Colette asks that we might pray for the souls of Doris and Edward Hurst. We're praying too for Pat Woodbridge, whose ashes uh, I buried earlier uh, uh, with her sister and with her parents. We pray that they may be united with each other and with the Lord. Continue our prayers for Terry White. For Beatrice, better known as Betty Crosby. And for Wendy Segura. We pray for the clergy who've served in this diocese. Today is the anniversary of Father Philip Dixon. Dickerson, I apologize. Tomorrow, the anniversary of Deacon Gerald Irwin. And on Sunday, Canon Bernard Jose, an extraordinary man uh, to whom uh, the education system of our diocese owns a great, owes a great deal. To Deacon Stuart Geary, and Father Thomas Hayes. And we pray that together as a diocese we may work inspired by the word who is life. May all the people of our diocese grow in openness to the power of the Holy Spirit so that through a growth in understanding and courage and truly open to your call, we may bear powerful witness to all around us. For you are Lord forever and ever. Father, who art in heaven, <coughs> hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God of power and mercy, who willed that Christ, your Son, should suffer for the salvation of all the world, grant that your people may strive to offer themselves to you as a living sacrifice and may be filled with the fullness of your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. I wish you uh, a blessed evening and bank holiday weekend. Being a bank holiday, just remind that there will be no evening prayer on Monday evening, nor uh, will there be the exposition and confessions at St. Pius, uh, but normal services will be resumed on Tuesday. May the Lord grant us a quiet night and a perfect end.
<coughs> Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Hail, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this veil of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us, and after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. St. Joseph, pray for us. St. Pius, pray for us. St. Edward, pray for us. 